Hello and welcome to Woodbridge Channel's coverage of high school sports. My name is John McCormick, your mayor and part-time sports announcer. I'm here with Councilman Greg Ficaro, who's my co-announcer tonight, who actually knows a little bit about football. And we're with Tom Rorty, TR, the first-year coach of the Colonia Patriots, who are in the playoffs, the state playoffs tonight at Colonia High School against Mendham. And TR, first of all, congratulations on taking the team to the state playoffs in your first year as a coach. Thank you very much. Very exciting. It's a great night. It's a nice night to play football. It's a, it's a good, great night. And the lights here help. Second year with the lights. We oh, love these lights. lights. Are great. You know what? It, it brings out the excitement in the kids. They're Absolutely. so pumped for, to play night games. And next year we're going to have a new field. It's even going to be. The, it's great for the kids. I'll save that for Councilman Ficarra to talk about. Tell me first about Piero. He's your, uh, you know, workhorse running back. Has he got a thousand yards yet? He's got. Uh, he's got over thirteen hundred yards. Thirteen hundred. Yeah, fourteen touchdowns. About another three hundred yards receiving. So he's been. Uh, he's been a workhorse for us. He's. He's great. He's just, he gets in the open field and he doesn't get caught. He doesn't even have that many, compared to other kids in the county, he doesn't even have that many carries. compared. To no, he doesn't. A lot of games he's no. had 12, 13, 14. He right? averages about eight yards a carry, which for a running back is great. I mean, you can't ask for anything like that. In fact, the two games, I guess you lost two games, right? Uh, when I see Luke, his younger brother, Luke says, yeah, my brother only had 14 carries. No wonder they lost. He's so proud of his older brother. It's, I love talking to that kid because he loves his older brother. And we get Luke next year, so we're excited yeah, that's what about I heard. that. That's, that's yeah. good. That's yep. good. Uh, tell me about Adawusi. He's uh, had a pretty good year. He's a uh, throwing threat and a running threat. Oh, yeah. He's close to 1,000 yards uh, passing. He's got over 600 yards rushing. He's a dual threat. And, and with him being able to run, it helps Sam. That's why Sam's only getting about 17 or 18 carries right, a game right. because we got Tenny. So it's we really put defenses in um, a tough place when they got to make their uh, decide who they're going to guard. They're going to watch. Yep. Tommy, is it an advantage that you got you scrimmage them right preseason? Yes, we scrimmage them. Yeah, and right before the start of the season. Oh, sure. You always get a look at you know kind of get a look at who they are because they're so far away, so we would never see them. Right. But it's a good It's a big advantage. Yeah. Have you for both teams? For both teams. Have you had an advantage to catch them? You sent some guys up there to see them. And what yeah, we got a bunch of films on them and stuff like that. We saw them uh, last week, so it's they're tough. You know, Morris County is tough football. They run right at you. There's no, you know, there's no secret to what they do. They just line up two tight ends, sometimes three backs, and they just line and they just try to run the ball. They got a lot of guys. I, I called up to my old colleague up there, uh, Jim Baglin, the AD, and they've got a lot of guys going both ways. They're concerned about injuries or potential injuries. How are you guys lining up for this game? Uh, it helps. We're, we're healthy. We're ready to go. Uh, it helps. Well, a bunch of our linemen only go one way, so second half comes. They're still fresh. And they're still fine off the wall, so it helps us. Well, that's a big Especially advantage. this time of year. Yeah, I hear you. Well, again, congratulations. Thank What's you it like much. following a legend? <laughs> Ready? I, I tell you, it's been great. I mean, I have him there. I can talk to him every day. He's my boss now, so it's 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 great. It's, He's a it's, good guy. It's been a great big, fall. Big I just want to let you guy. know, I need you to win because, as you know, the governor may know, the governor's from Mendham. Oh, is he? Yep, and I'm from Colonia. So I won't tell you what the bet is in case you know, I lose. <laughs> but I don't want to expect to lose, but we do have a bet going on, Colonia versus Mendham in, in politics and government, and Colonia versus Mendham in high share? school football. <laughs> well, only if I win. Only if I win, All because right. I don't want to violate his confidence. Only if I win. <laughs> well, good luck, much. man. Good, good luck. luck. Thank you. All right, Greg, looking forward to a good game tonight. Yeah, yeah, it seems exciting. It's good a night beautiful night. I have old long johns on, but I don't even need them. Yeah. I mean, it's a great night. The light Under the lights, Friday night lights is what high school football is all about. Absolutely. Can't all wait. right, let's go Patriots. Hello, and welcome to Woodbridge Channel's coverage of high school sports. My name is John McCormick. I'm your mayor and part-time sports announcer, joined by Councilman Greg Ficarra. And tonight we are at the field in Colonia High School under the lights on Friday night for a state playoff game between the Colonia Patriots and the Mendham Minutemen. Welcome, Greg. Thanks, John. Good to be here. Hey, this is an interesting matchup. Uh, uh, talk, talking to Coach Tom there before the game, these guys saw each other in the preseason, so uh, they know a little bit about each other, and it looks like it should be a great, great battle tonight. Mendham won the toss and deferred. They'll kick off on the receiving team. We'll get the receiving team for Colonia a minute. Good long kick over everybody's head. Going into the end zone. Going out of the end zone. It's a good start. Touchback. For Colonia on the receiving team was Elijah Williams, number five. Farrell Napoleon, number 10. Number 12 is Nick Mantragelo. 24, one of the captains, Tim Pangborn. Two, Chase Barneys. Eight, Matt Ribeiro. 86 is Zach Manenti. Number three, Matt Mizek. Number 56 was Randy Acosta. Number 27 was Matt DePola. And 34, TJ Matty. Colonia first and 10 at the 20. Colonia in an eye backfield going into a shift. Power right. 
Handoff up the middle. Piro on the carry. Couple of yards. That is Sam Piro, the workhorse running back for the Patriots. He'll pick up two. Second down and eight from the 22. Piro has 1,294 yards rushing. That's throwing another 183 receiving. Here he comes again. He gets up, crosses the 25, maybe to the 27. It'll be third and three about for the Patriots. We'll give Piro five on that. Joe Beneducci, uh, scattering report, is there the heart of the team. He's that big middle linebacker in there. He was in on both of those plays. We'll give it third and four. Colonial getting, Colonial getting an audible from the sideline. Colonial, the higher seeded team, so they have the home game. Teddy Adewusi is the quarterback, and he jukes, cuts left. Does he have it across the. No, he's pushed back, so it'll be fourth. He's got to see where the forward motion is marked. Didn't look like it was enough. I don't think he ever crossed the plane of the 30. Oh, it's close, though. Oh, what a call. What a call here. Fourth and in a. And inches. Senior linebacker Anthony Mercone big on that Coach play. Coach Rorty going for it. Wow. Two receivers split left out of Woosie shotgun. Watch the long count. Oh, the running back moved. Here comes Piro around the end. He's got the first down. No, he doesn't have the ball. Quarterback, good fake. Out of Woosie takes it around the left end. Oh, there's a flag late. That might have been... Uh, some activity here going on between number 11 and number 6. Is that possible? Well, sideline interference. Sideline interference against the Patriots. Uh, I guess this official is trying to set the tone of the game that they're in charge. First down for the Patriots. Fine warning. On blue. Blue on their own 36 yard line. First and 10. Oh, it's just a warning. So, seven yards for Adewisi will make it a first and 10. What a call. Early in the game, first series, fourth play. Fourth and inches, and they go for it. It was From a great the 29. play. Quick pitch. Here comes Perro. He turns. Nothing doing. He's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. Number 29, Christopher Jones. Defensive back in on that play. Just blew the whole thing up. He must have seen it coming. No gain on the play. Second down and ten. Quick play for Colonia. Four twenty-one. There we go. Oakland. There's nobody in the middle of the fucking field, man. Come on, get inside. Adawusi fakes the pitch. He's oh, he's got number ten deep. Oh, just missed it. A little overthrown. Certainly has a strong arm, that quarterback. Yeah, he the does. ball had, he does. had plenty of room on it, that's for sure. Remember, the Napoleon, um, Farrell Napoleon had a little, little uh, advantage there, but it got closed. Was a, Defender he was, caught up to him. It was well covered, though. Yeah, I it mean, was. He was there. I think he just had the height. A little on him, advantage. Though. He didn't have much. Shotgun. He's got 11. He's got 11. A little high. Oh! Boy, Piro could have been all the way. And now they got a punt. Looked like that ball might have been a little little tip there by Nicholas Fiera. That might have caused it, yeah. He looked had like him. a slight little tip of the ball there, but that was a good play. I think Perro, he split the middle right there, Perro. He was, he was off to the races. Colonia had a, they got a good look on that series. And now I can't see 20 something is the punter. No, and it looks like Mendham's coming with a full house here unless they drop back. No, they're all High coming. Snap. They're all coming. Very nice punt under pressure. Wow. Good tackle. David, Who was that? David Burkinski That's for number, Morristown. Elijah Williams took him down by himself. Had a little late help, but he had him anyway. It'll be first so a little backup information about the Patriots' opponent. Uh, Mindham is part of a uh, the West Mars School District. There's two high schools, Mindham and West Mars Central. 
They play in the uh, Northwest Athletic Conference in the National Division. Uh, had a number of players, John, I mentioned this early, that uh, played in the NFL. We'll, we'll talk about them a little later, but that's a heck of a football conference up there in uh, oh, yeah. Northwest Jersey. Four and four there could be, you know, seven and then uh, one, six and two anywhere else. Quarterback handoff up the middle. Oh, smack, Fumble. ball loose. Quarterback recovers it. Boy, first play, that's setting the tone. 51 on the hit, that is Jimmy Becker. And boom, he hit him hard, forced a fumble, and about a five-yard loss, maybe a four-yard loss. That was one heck of a hit, boy. Welcome to Colonia. That sets the tone. Hello. Tonight, Kennedy also uh, playing in the playoffs. John F. Kennedy against Irvington away in the same uh, group as this game. Same uh, section. Same think, section, as yeah. you said, right. Mm -hmm. Quarterback under center. Got second a 14. Tight formation and one back from Mendham. Here's a pass. It's rolling out. Rolling out, going to take it himself. Crosses the first down marker. Gets thrown out of bounds about halfway through, so a gain of about nine. Leaving about a third and five. Let's see where they mark it. I'll give him a pickup of eight. Third down and six from the 39. Quarterback for Mendham is Jack Horan. He's got 672 passing yards, and he's also run for 260 yards, so he's a capable young man. Drop back. Quick snap. That's too high. All right, all right. Overthrown. Colonia number two, Chase Barney's in on that play. It was a great, great coverage by Chase. But well, minimum looks like it's going to keep it uh, interesting with the pass. You don't see a lot of passing in high school football. No, both, both teams uh, look like they're very capable of passing. Back now is Elijah Williams for Colonia, and I think that's Farrow Napoleon. And it looks like Colonia is setting up for a return. For return. Yep. Line drive kick. We need a uh -oh. good. Oh, nothing going. Oh, he's still up. Nothing going. Decent return, half dozen yards. I tell you, it was a great effort just to uh, just to hold on to that ball. Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rough part that of the was field. That's dangerous. That's a dangerous catch there. Yep, rough part of the field. That's you know with yeah. the weather being what it is, it's real hard and dusty out there right now. That's why that new turf field is going to come I'm in. I'm telling great you, we're year. ready for it, man. We're ready for it. <laughs> Same thing last game we covered at Colonia. It was like a dust bowl. Yep. Colonia takes over now. Colonia in a real spread kind of offense here. Slot right, flanker left, shotgun, quarterback Adewusi keep. Adewusi keeps it. He's hit by several of guys from not a fumble, but not the play was called. Called down. Brian McGovern on the line for Colonia. Number 57, number 69 is Joshua Brindley. He's also a captain. Hey, it looks like 54. That's Nick Hatterthauer. 57 out there, you said? 51 no? is Jimmy Becker. 10 split right is Farrell Napoleon. Piro is split right. 22 split left is Raul Cardona, along with Elijah Williams split left. Trips left, slot right, empty backfield. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got 11. He's got 11. Piro! Yeah! <laughs> That was uh, holding. What an outstanding pass, though. Holy mackerel. It might have been on the guy who was rushing in uncovered, and they came over to get him. That pass was right on the money, though, John. Nicely uh, it done. It was nicely done, is right. Right in his hands. Holding on Polonia. It's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. We'll repeat second. Uh, that's a big 10-yard penalty yeah. from the spot of the foul. That's a 
big one. And then when you take that, what, 20-yard gain, that's a 30-yard turnaround there. Just still an outstanding pass and a very athletic yep. play by that quarterback to step up. They're back to the 18. That's about a 15-yard Slot. penalty. Coming right back with a quick screen. Piero. Okay. It's an interesting, that's like a little flare pass or a quick screen. Quarterback runs towards him, throws it, gets some momentum going, and they picked up some of that yardage. Picked up about four. No, gain of eight. Gain of eight. Got third down and about 14 from the 28. Quick look in, in the middle. Nicely done. Pick number up 22 him. is Raw Cardona. That's a 28. Too far for a, to go for here. They got a punt. Certainly gained back some yardage, though. They can they put did. him in Two the nice hole. They did. Two nice plays. Yep. Remember that for later. Yep, absolutely. That up was a 39. quick little slant play. And again, the ball was right on the money. Got them out of that hole so they can kick it a little freely. Looks like uh, Mendham's coming after him again, though. They must it's only two. I wish it was... Uh -oh. Whoa, high snap. Soft high snap. Almost Line drive kick, it. get a bounce, get a bounce. Oh, hit our guy, hit our guy. It's supposed to be down where it touched the defender. Yep. Well, the good news is Cloney had 19 yards on two passes. Bad news is that they had second and probably 20-something. Right, well, you, you know how it is with those uh, second and penalties. Four, I think it was. So three punts so far, two for Colonia, one for Mendham. On defense now, Bryce Barney's number four, Chase Barney's number two. Uh, number 73 is Tyler Lorde. Number 12 is Nick Matrangelo. 10 we know is Pharaoh Napoleon. 27, no, that's not 27. Number 12, I said number 12. 51 is Jimmy Becker. 64 is Bill Allardyce. Five split left is Elijah Williams. Hand off right. A straight dive right up the middle. Uh, forward motion might get him a, more than he should have gotten. That is, what's the number? Number 20 what? 29 for the minute. 29. Man. Yep, that is uh, Christopher Jones. So he had first and 10. Jones is trying to carry. Chris Jones is a junior, junior for the Minutemen. He picked up seven. It'll be second and three from about the 38. Minutemen a single back, tight formation. It's a real power formation, motion. Hand off to the right, fake hand off to the left afterwards. Yep. And Colonia covers it, no gain. Okay, on that one. Straight dive right up the middle. Who carried it? Let me see who carried it. I'm trying to keep some kind of stats here. 34, is that, Greg? Yeah, it looked like it was number 34. Yep, 34 was uh, Robert uh, Weatherington. Third and three now from the 38. Oh, we there's got a, a penalty. penalty. Yeah, there's okay. a little yellow flag there. Let's see what it is. It's against the defense. Oh, for crying out loud. Personal foul. Uh, Personal foul on the defense, grabbing an opening in the helmet. It. You know. So it'll move from the 38 all the way down. Illegal helmet contact. Yeah, that's a that's a call that the officials are very attuned to, rightfully so, with all the concern about head injuries and concussions. Second penalty on Colonia, both 15 yarders. Actually, the first one was longer because it was from the point of foul. That's a tough one. First and 10 now from the 47. Spencer Klaus in motion. Handoff right to 29. Delayed handoff. Nothing doing. John, they hand that ball off very deep. He's three yards yeah, in the backfield yeah. on that handoff, and I think he does that to give that running back a little time to look at the line and see where the openings are. Pick up of one, second and nine from the 46 now. Also on defense there, number 37 is Chris Carruthers. Number 73 is, I said, Tyler Lodi. 22, I think I said Raul Cardona. 
There's a guy in front of us. Is that a nine? What is that, Greg? Yeah, I can't. It looks like nine on this. On Could this be a three. Uh, no, it's not yeah. Matt Mizek. He's not tall enough to be Matt Mizek. No. Second and nine from the 46. Getting there, running a tight. Fake. Drop foul. He's got 87 deep. Good 33. play over the middle. Nothing we're going to do about that. Good play. Number 33, Joseph Penalty. Benaducci. Must be a clip. No mark of a touchdown yet. That was number 33. Not a touchdown. Not a touchdown. Significant gain. That was, again, number 33, Joe Benaducci, uh, a senior running back and linebacker that is referred to as the heart and soul of that team. So you could see why he would earn, earn that title. That's holding, but they're not walking back to the spot of the uh, snap. No, I think that's where it occurred. That's probably where the incident occurred right there. All right, so moving it back from there. Yep. Back in the back. By Mendham. It'll wind up being a first down. Okay, so they got a first down. 10 from 21. If they blocked in the back, they didn't need to because that was a touchdown. I didn't see the block, but it didn't look like it mattered. Maybe maybe it did, but. Yeah. Well, whatever. Hate those penalties don't matter in the end, end result, you know? Right. They would have scored anyway. It was in the, uh, you know, in the view of the official, so he's, uh, he's obligated to call it. That looked too easy, though. There were three guys back, three receivers down. It looked like only two Patriots covering it. That was a uh, credit to the Mendham offensive line because that quarterback had some good time back oh, 29's there. 29's got a good run. Good move there. No, nope, didn't get him down. Still a first down, but good try there by Elijah Williams. Had him pinned down, but just couldn't pull it, bring him down. That's Mendham uh, junior running back Chris Jones. So first down for Mendham. Uh, Jones is a, is a junior. He's got a nice future ahead of him. First down, Mendham. Ball on the 13-yard line. First and 10 from about the 11. They can get a first down. Good job, Sean. There we go. Up the middle. Quarterback's good at faking. He has the ball off and he goes back like a like he's throwing. Right. Gain of two will give him second and eight. Jones on the carry. Gain of two on the play, second and eight. Looking at some numbers out there for West Mars. Number 87 is a tight end, Michael Frigo. Number 70 is a linebacker, Joseph Abransky. 59, Anthony Marconi. There's a handoff. Little reverse counter on the inside. Oh, there's going to be a penalty again. Hopefully it's holding. Yes, it is. A lot of penalties here in the first quarter. Three oh five left. Two penalties now on each team. Yep, and it's hurt them both. Holding, Mendham, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, repeat second down. Second down from the 20 is about 18 yards. No, call it second and 20 from the 20. Colony has a holding and a personal foul. Mendham has a holding and a blocking in the back. Second and 20. Now's the time to step up. Quarterback back, rolls his right, being pass. chased, throws it down. Right to Benaducci. He's he goes. cutting around, but maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. Probably going to bring up about a third and ten. Pick up a, we'll give him ten. It's the first complete, I think. Quite a few substitutes coming in I was going to say, five yeah. guys. Yep. That's a lot. Yep. This Beneducci is a workhorse, but I'm looking at the stats here. They don't even have him listed for rushing yards. They got him at 36, 109 receiving. 
Two backs. And off right. Oh, oh fake. He caught it. Is it a touchdown? Uh, yes, might, it is. Yes, he said it was in. Nice play by Menham. That was. Running back stopped and threw it. Yep. That was a little halfback uh, option pass that was right on the money. Right on the money. Mean, caught threw, it. Threw it like a quarterback. Yep. I couldn't tell who threw that ball. I don't know. It's too far away. I want to say it was number 29, I thought, Christopher I thought it might have been Jones. 29. Yeah, yep. I don't know who caught it, though. Chris Jones, I don't know who caught it, but it was a nice play, nicely developed. Extra point. He it's hooked good. that in. That extra point was kicked by Ross Copeman, a senior wide receiver and defensive back and also kicker. You know, John, when you run those halfback option passes, it freezes the defensive backs because they got to play it like it's a run. Yep. And when they come up and they just pause for that minute, that opens up that receiver. But he was covered pretty well. That was just a very nice pass. One minute and 43 seconds left in the first quarter. First quarter stats for Colony. Well, I shouldn't give them yet. It's not over. Let me wait a little bit. Oh, what the heck. We got Piro with two carries for six yards. Adawusi, four for 11. Adawusi is two for four. Got eight yards to Piro and 11 yards to Raul Cardona. Kicking off for Mendham is number 45, Santiago Legavir. Return team now for Woodbridge. Zach Manenti, number 86, number 27, Matt Dipola. This kid's got good a high deep kick. Good foot. Oh, right up the opening. middle, right up the middle. Keep going. All right, nice return. Eight. Elijah Williams, number five. Give us a first and 10 on about the 30. 536. Let's see where they mark it. Mark it at 36. John Powers out there on defense for Mendham. Number six, Ian Graham. If anybody from Mendham happens to log on to TV 35 to watch this game on video on demand, we apologize, but I'm the mayor of town and Greg is a councilman and we're longtime <laughs> residents. We are, in fact, rooting for Colonia. <laughs> I have my dear friend Jim Baglin, who's the AD there. I told him I would give him a few plugs. Piero on the pitch. A lot of running. He's got about eight. A lot of good hitting out there, boy. It's his best run of the day. There were some bodies flying out there, John. Some nice blocking up front. Gain is six on the play. It'll be second down and four. We'll give Piero six. Second down and four from the 42. Colonia in a slot right. Single back. Shotgun. Inside Hands handoff. To and he goes around the end. He's oh, going to say he had a first down, but he got tripped up. He looked like he was free. He did a great job of changing fields there. He saw the hole he was going to closed up, and he just shifted his hips and went the other way. That was a very athletic move there. Made something out of nothing, John. Third down and two from the 44. Big play for Colonia. They don't want to punt the first three times already. Come on. Let's get something done here. Mendham really playing the run. They're all stacked up. A lot of people in the Adelucci box. Adelucci on his own. He's going to have the first and then some. Got the first down. He's picked up a lot. Probably about eight. First down. You know what, John? Mendham was up tight, and they had a lot of people in the box between the tackles, and uh, he took it around the outside, and that's where the opening was. Yeah, that was had, an outstanding play. Yeah, he did pick up eight. First and oh, ten now Mendham, from uh, 47. 47. Maybe he picked up nine. I'll give him. Okay, we got a slot right again. Shotgun, single back. Looks like it. Takes it himself. Right up the middle. Go, baby. Go. Go, Teddy. Go. Go. Oh, just short. Kenny Adawusi with the biggest run of the game. Outstanding run. He took that ball from the 47 down to just about the goal line. Number six, Ian Graham in on the tackle. John, that looks like he was setting up an option play. He had an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he kept it himself. He saw a hole there, did a great job. Wow, if we're going to give him 46 yards, first and goal from the one. 
Two back. Pirro in. Pirro on the carry. He's got to be close. Boy, if he didn't get in, he's on the one-inch line. He's got to be close. Second and goal from the zero almost. I think the clock's going to run out, John. They're going to reverse fields now. That's the end of the first quarter. Danny Adewusi with the play to game for Colonia. 46 yards down to the one. Let's that, finish up the first quarter. That was an explosive play. What a play. We'll be back, folks. I am Eric Legrand, and you are now watching the Wilbur's Channels. It looks like we got uh, second down on, on the goal line there. Great run by Colonia quarterback to put him there on an option play that he decided to keep. Little Wilson a shotgun now. Spread offense on that on the goal line there. It's interesting they got trips right and slot left. Empty backfield. And there's motion. That's a whole Everybody's lot moving. All five are moving. Now they're moving into a power set. Slot right. Had a Wusi to Piro. He's in. He Touchdown, Colonia. Touchdown, Boy, that was an excellent. Uh, First play of the second quarter. Colonia is on the board. Formation was interesting with all of those shifts. That forced the defense of uh, Mendham to make adjustments, and I think they handed that ball off while the Mendham defense was try still trying to set up. Great play. So number eight is on now for the kick for Colonia, Matt Ribeiro. Extra point will tie it. Big kick. No good. Blocked. Got a little tip of it. The snap was a little bit high. Took, he, was, he was walking up to kick before. The ball was ready for him. That was number six, Ian Graham, who tipped that ball. Ian Graham is the same player for Mendham that uh, caught the Colonia quarterback on that uh, almost touchdown. First quarter stats. Unofficial, of course, doing my best here. Five for 15 for Perro with one catch for eight. Adawusi, six for 66, including a 46-yard run. And number 22, Raul Cardona, has one for 11. Two for four is out of Woosie passing. So, Colonia down 7-6. We'll be right back. And we're back now. Colonia down 7-6 after a great drive. That'll be five plays covering 64 yards. Why do I think we're going to see an attempt at uh, two points after a score, right? Somewhere down the line? That's already setting that, that up. Yep. Colonia's soft kick right to the middle of the field. Automatically getting good field position. Yep. Good tackle by number 28 there for Colonia. That's Solomon Manning. Very nice tackle. But good field position for the Minutemen. Running that ball back again was 33, Joe Beneducci for Mendham. Their first and 10 from the 35. John, just glancing out on the field, it looks like Colonia has got a size factor there in the trenches. There's some big fellas up there. Top, look at those three guys oh, in the Colonia middle. Colonia is a yeah. big team. The number 73 is a big boy. He's Tyler Lordi. 64, 64 in the middle. 64 is Bill Allardyce, big athletic family. And number 51 is Jimmy Becker. You're right, some beef in the middle for Colonia. First and 10, hand off left, nothing doing. Colonia swarms. Eight guys in an attack, and there's only three guys there that weren't. That was a wall of Patriots that stopped them there, that's for sure. Colonia coming into this game at six and three, and Mendham at four, four, and one. Mendham plays in a very, very tough conference up there. The 4-4 four, four for that, we said it before. Who do they play? West Morris, and they play um, Morristown. Morristown. Yep, they got, uh, who else do they got up there? They got their schedule. Mount Olive, Del Barton, Persephone Hills. Second and nine now for the Minutemen. One receiver split left, one man in the backfield. Flanker left. Tight. Off and tackle. Off to 29. Good run, but good, not, not, not really a good run. Stopped pretty nicely by Colonia. Yep. 
That was Maybe off he held him two run, two, uh, two runs. Uh, well, it was a decent run. He got halfway, so he picked up four. We'll say third and five from the 40. Right. Chris Jones running for uh, Mendham on that. A couple of substitutions. One man out and three in. Well, the quarterback runs across to get the play. Oh, okay. Big play for Colony if they can stop him here, force a punt, and have okay field position. Third and five from the 40. Fake handoff. Going back for the pass. Nobody. Nobody. Ah. He's still up. Nine was there. Nine was very well covered. That's when I said nobody, but I didn't see the guy sneaking up below me here. Benarducci, as they say, is the heart and soul of that team. And, boy, he's dangerous after he catches the ball, John. Yeah, he picked up a lot of yards there after he caught that ball. Jack Haran for the uh, men, the Minutemen. Very accurate so far with his passes. And, and his offensive line has given him some good time. That was a 19-yard pickup. Hitting off the 33 around the left. He's little counter inside. Beneducci again. Oh, Whoa. wow. He's dragged across to about an eight-yard gain unless they call where he stopped. Mo. Is it a fumble? He's saying he was down. That turned out the four-yard game became a, a seven- or eight-yard game. Yeah, he picked up eight. That ain't good. No, he moves. That, those guys are... Powerful runners, both that Chris Jones, number 29, and 33, Beneducci, because Colonia did a good job of wrapping them up. They did. They wrapped them up, but he forward, you know, they kept pushing them forward. Yeah. Second and two now. It's a first Inside down. handoff, first down. So nice sustained drive here for. Mendham picked up two first downs so far. Number four, Daniel McNew McHugh on that run. He is a sophomore. Look like number four. Anyway. Oh, maybe it wasn't. No, I'm wrong. It was number 29, Chris Jones. And now we have first and ten from the 28. Need to stop here. Colony needs to stop. High backfield, slot left. Cloney showing blitz. Handoff left. Oh, he's open. He's in the, in the back there, and he's got a first down and then some. Joe Beneducci for the Minutemen. Certainly a spark plug for those Yeah, he's guys. got the first. First and 10 for the Minutemen. Ball on the Patriots 12 yard line. First and 10 from the 12. That's a pickup of about 16. Wow. I'm sorry. 16, pickup of 12. Hand off right, sweep. Nice run. Good tackle there by number 22. That's Raul Cardona. Some good blocking. Too. Solo tackle. He picked up a burst of speed there. Yeah, he had a good block on the inside. Looks like he might be getting a cramp. He's kicking his leg. 29, that was Chris Jones that had well, that. I hope his cramp gets better at about 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> you know, the uh, up here in the press box, the Colonial coach was yelling out sweep. If you you watch the um, the Minutemen, they, they put a guy in a slot and they invert him. So yeah, he, yeah, yeah. it gives him a good angle for blocking, and that's what made that play. He closed off that end. First and ten from about the four. Or first and goal from about the four. Good power eye yeah. backfield. Beneducci again. John, that number 33 starts at linebacker, too. When we talked to Coach Rarity in the beginning of the game, he was talking about that. Their Colonia offensive line only plays one game, uh, one side of the ball. But this kid, 33, plays on both sides. That could be yep. a factor in the second half. Let's hope so. That's a pickup of three, second and goal from the one. Top 
Tight offense, motion left, straight Hand dive to Benedicci. To Benedicci. He's in. Wow, he went in standing up, John. So two straight drives, three straight drives overall. Mendham scored, Colony scored, now Mendham scored, 13-6. Number nine, Ross Hopeman in for the extra point. Hooked one in there the first time. Well, it's a big one now because it'll make a seven-point lead, an eight-point lead, and force him to go High for snap. two. It looks like it's up, up and, and good. Looks yep. good. Yes, sir. 14-6, Mendham. Mendham had a real rhythm going there, John. They were coming out of the huddle real quick, and it was kind of a hurry-up offense. Well, they gained a... By my count, about 42 yards on the ground, another 19 in the air. They're about so. A nice drive for Mendham, and they take a 13-6 lead with 7.04 to go. We'll be right back, folks. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Dave Lambert from the Strauds, and you're watching the Woodbridge Channels on Channel 35. We are joined now by Luke Pirro. He is the... Eighth grade brother of Sam Pirro with the third of the Pirro brothers athletic team. Welcome, Sam. Luke. Oh, look, I, I'm sorry. Welcome, Luke. I just said Luke, and I said Sam after that. Thank Welcome, you. Luke. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me what you think of the game so far. Uh, stupid mistakes in the beginning. No. You got to execute in the second half and be fine. Well, there's still some time in the first half. Yeah. A couple of penalties going on. Oh, good Boy, kick. They got a good kick. Kicker, yeah. Ball, yep. We'll score. We'll score this half. A, this this drive right here. Cut over. Cut up. Cut up. Oh, nice move. Nice return by number three. Number two, Chase Barney's. Chase Barney, number yeah, two. Sorry. Number Thanks, two. man. Chase Barney. You get in there, look, you can squeeze in. So what's your older brother, your very uh, oldest brother doing? Uh, he's at Syracuse. Syracuse? Is he playing? No, he um he's just there. He wanted to go. So. Yeah. yeah. What's he going to major in? Uh, engineering. Oh, good. You want to do some play-by-play, -play, Luke? Sure. All right, you got first and 10 at the 30 to 29. Go ahead. All right. Piero in motion. Along the right side. Quarterback keep. Yeah, Adelusi. On the, on the oh. keeper. Oh. Hit out of bounds for the flag. That was Adelusi on the carry. You know, Luke, when we talked to the uh, Mendham team prior to this, they said that they were concerned on broken plays like that with Adelucci's, uh, uh athleticism, that he yeah. could make something happen out of nothing. Yeah, he can. He's he's slick. Like he He's good with that. He's fast, too, so. He turned that broken play into, into a little yardage there. Yeah. Second and seven. You think we have to score here, Luke? Yeah, we, because they get the ball at the half, so. I mean. Good point. Speed option to Sam Piero. Good for a first down. Game about four. Gain of five on the play. That's good for a Patriot first down. That'll bring up first and 10 from the 44. Six minutes and 10 seconds to go before the half. So Patriots be looking at their wrist uh, wristbands for the play. Got a wide spread here. Elijah in motion. Power sweep. Nice tackle. Look who it is, John. Number 59. Anthony Mercone with the big hit. Adelusi on the carry game about maybe one. Maybe two. Second down and nine now. Give him two. Second down and nine from the 46. Okay, so we've got a slot left. Flanker right. A little quick flare pass. Can't. That play didn't look too good. Yeah, you can't, you can't run that with an end breaking down. Third down and eight. 
I didn't like that play, did you? No. It, it didn't develop. It did, yeah, it didn't no. develop. Whoa. I was going to say that. Yeah, it just didn't develop the way they want it. Now they're in a real spread offense right now. Yeah, Trips it's... left, slot right. This is a musket of first down play. No, 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 no. Here we go. What do you think they're going to do here, Luke? Pass or run? Probably pass. I'm going to hear what he's calling because I got the wristband too. Oh, oh do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got the we inside keep you track. You hear the whole game, man. Yeah. He's got the inside track. Going now you on. told everybody how you did it. Quick pass. Nice. First down. Yeah. First Good down. second effort. Pass completed a foul on Napoleon for about 10 to 11 yards. To Napoleon. Good for a Patriot first down. That was a good play. So, yeah. Luke, you, you have a big advantage having older brothers playing because you have a very good knowledge just of the yeah. philosophy of football. Yeah, and I, I know the offense well. I know the coaches as well, too. So That's great. Good for you. Looking forward to coming here next year, Luke? Yep. What do we got? We have Piero goes in motion wide right. All right, trips. Adewusi alone in the backfield. Oh, oh. step. He's got 10. He's got 10. He's got, He's got him. He's got him. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Touchdown. Marrow Napoleon. Number 10. With a 45 yard reception. That was an outstanding pass. Yeah. Right on the money. Good catch. Better pass. Touchdown. Now, what do you think, Luke? Now to go for two, right? Yeah, they have to. Because this, this could ruin. This is the play of the game right here. If they, if they don't get it, they score. They're up. They get. You know, just play the game right here. They're in a normal, normal they got, formation. They got, they got Farrell on the flat. If they hit him, or Pierre on the flat, he's got him. They got him. No, they don't. I don't want to see you. Throw it. No, he hit oh. his own man. No, he doesn't have it. He, oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's pushed in. Good job. All right, 14-14. Hey, Luke, you want to stay up here, man. You're good luck. You're good luck. Yeah. That was an awkward play. He ran that into was. He ran into Jimmy man. Becker. Yeah. Johnny Mantell. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a pass. You can see it up here. He had him. He had to beat him by a step, and Adewusi found him. So we got ourselves a bowl game here with 4.08 left in the half. If he, makes, if he keeps making plays, we, we're fine. Now, what you don't want to do now is give up a touchdown and then have them get the ball in the second half. Just, so yeah. this is huge that they hold them here. we got to get a good kick. That's them. Well, they've been kicking well. Yeah, I know. Joshua Joseph, number 14 on the field now. Number one is Gadimi Dorelian, or Dorelian. Number 23 is John Sanchez. Number 25 is Bashir Lauderdale. Number, is that 12? Yeah, Nick Matrangelo. Nick Matrangelo. Number nine is Luis Martinez. Who 31 is Brian, Brian Pedrosa. Pedrosa. Who's 20? Is that Matt DePola? Matt DePola, 27, and Elijah Williams, number five. All right. And Malaga, number 18, Ron Malaga kicking. You know these guys better than anybody, man. Yeah. Why don't you just take the microphone and we'll just go home? <laughs> just go down and watch the game. Not oh. a good kick. Well, yeah, got to leave it. Run. Let it scramble around. Same guy picked up the last kick. Oh. That's not good. It's no, not good too good a field position. Scrappy. Some good hits in there. That was uh, number 34, Robert Weddington for Mendham running that one back. He, you know, Ron's a good kicker. He can, he can get it to the goal line. I don't know what they're doing. First attempt for the 42. Were you there when Colonial scrimmage Mendham? Yeah. What would you think of that game? They destroyed them. We did? Yeah, we really. Really? We, yeah. Were they was, playing full team? Starters, yeah, it was, it was a game. It was a game scrimmage. Oh, we game up, scrimmage. Okay. I think we were up 35-13, and then we put our seconds in. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's not what we want. That's an eight-yard run there by uh, Benaducci. It's a little inside. Need to stop here because you can't let him get a score and then the momentum and then get the ball at the half. Yeah. He, he's a workhouse. That number 33 for Mendham. He's just all over the field. He's in, he just came out, number 33. He's an inside yeah, yeah, linebacker and running back, just a tough kid. Luke, you going to be running back like your brother? That's right. Actually, right. I'm going to go for quarterback next year, actually. Oh, yeah, for just, uh, freshman or JV teams? Yeah, just for freshman. And then go for the rest of my high school. I'm just going to play running back. Looked like a first down. Forward progress took him across the 48. Not by, uh, by enough. Flags will move. That's good for a first down. 
Mendham, Mendham plays an up-tempo kind of game, John. You know, they're, they're, they're not much time in between plays. No, they keep it moving. And they make a lot of substitutions. First and 10 from the Colonia 46. Just under three minutes to go now. Mendham's got some big kids on their offensive line, too. It's advantage. Oh! Holy mackerel, that was straight up the middle. That happened in a flash. No linebacker standing still. Yep. That's just what we did not want to happen. You called it. That was Robert Wethington. He's the kid that ran the ball back on the kickoff. That's yeah. just a tough kid there. That was just an inside handoff, Luke, and he just found I daylight. I don't know. Middle linebacker standing still. They got to get on their toes. Yeah. Either Actually, that. try. Might have had a blitz on there, and sometimes when you blitz, yeah. John, Another, you just go up yeah. the wrong hole, you know? So it's a gamble. Kick up and looks good. Another good kick. Yep. So 21-14, just like that. We got time. We got time to score. Yeah, we do. No. Three We're plays. Three plays after tying the game, Mendham takes the lead. So we'll be back, folks, with Mendham up 21-14, 247 to go. First half, Colonia. John McCormick, Rick Fakara, and Luke Pirro, your announcers. We'll be back. We're back now. Cloney about to receive the kickoff. Mike Mizek in the middle. Randy Acosta next to him. 34 is TJ Maddie. TJ Maddie. I'll just say the number. <laughs> Luke, you say the player. <laughs> All right. Um, we got number eight, Matt Rivera. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. Number 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 12. That was number Nick 12. Nick Matronzolo. He yeah, he's the guy it. that just, Bobbles it. He just fell on that ball, Matronzolo. I wonder if that was intentional. Looked like they did that on purpose. What do you mean? To kick, you know, that kid kicks the ball really well. Oh, you're right, you're right, you know, right. He had to do that on purpose. First and 10 yeah, now from the 24. It takes more time. Yeah. Because if they kick it deep and they let it go into the end zone, no, no seconds go off the clock, right. so they want to. Yeah, a couple of seconds on that one. Napoleon split right. Here in the backfield. They got, the, they got that right side. Oh, not anymore, but. Yep, they got a Mendham running a 4 3, 4 4. Pass. Quick screen. To Elijah Williams. Come on, Elijah! Uh, almost a first down. Got to get out of bounds in this situation. 2.37. Somebody called the timeout. Clock stopped. Yeah. Maybe he did get a first. No, yeah, he did get a first. No. First. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yep, first down. It's That's why the clock Patriot. stopped. Okay. First down. That's a little quick screen. Nice play. I'll take it. Six more down. First down from the 34 now. And 10 yards. Four down linemen for Mendham. Hand, Hand off Piro. to Piro. Ooh, big Stuffed hit there. Stuffed at the line. Hey, Oof. Uh, hey, let's go. Piro on the carry. Trio, trio right. Number 59, so Anthony Marconi, a senior Good linebacker, point. in on that play for Mendham. Got a pass coming. Luke's, Luke's listening in from the uh, the coach up in the press box who's calling in. Says we're looking for a pass here with motion. It should be. Oh, oh, oh. a little. Oh, oh. 70 got it, I think. Bumble on the play. Mistakes. 70 dove hard on it. Looked like he muscled everybody away from it. Mendham recovers the fumble. Not we'll good for Colonia. Now Colonia. they got a chance to score themselves at 152. At the 34-yard line. <laughs> come on, come on. they got to get their heads up, both of them. All right, now it's time to suck it up for Colonia. Got to get those big boys up front. Pushing that offensive line back with 152 to go. Some reports from the field. Kennedy's down or up 14-12 at the half over Irrington. Woodbridge down 28-21 at the half to Milburn, the consolation game. Really? 28-21 at the half. That's a nice Wait, can oh, he's got anyone. Long. No, he's Holy got there he goes. Mackerel. He got him. He's got him. Benaducci. There he goes. Oh, That's this is good. This is Kennedy's winning. Good. That, Kennedy's ooh. winning? Yeah, Kennedy's beating Irvington. Irvington's yeah. lost three games in a row. They're, uh, that's, that's big for Kennedy. Yep. That's a great First play. That's a killer. Stretch. 
We had all the momentum going there, Luke. We had uh, tied the score 14-14 after the two-point conversion, and then just everything's falling apart. Yeah. You know, second half, it could change. You never know. Last year when we played Carteret, wasn't going our way in the first half, and then we came back. All right. Let's hope so. And with the extra point, it's up he's, and good. He's perfect. He's four, four for four. He was kicking like 35 yarders, 40, 50 yarders at, at pregame. 141 to go. Mend him up 28. 14. All right, we'll take a break. Folks, we'll be right back. We're back, 141 to go in the first half. Colonia down 28-14, getting the kick from Mendham. John McCormick, Rick for Carol, Luke Pirro. Be nice to have a good return here. This kid's see if he kicks away. Oh. Nope, same, same thing. thing. Uh, he's good. Go ahead, Tim. Hold the ball. Hold the ball there, number 24, Tim Pangborn. Yeah. Not a name you'd normally associate with carrying the ball, <laughs> but at least we got some good field position. We'll see what tricks Coach has up his sleeves now. With that good passer, anything can happen. Well, they had a 46-yarder. Got a injured player, a Colonial player, oh, that number was, uh, 24. Pegboard. Players helping them all. He's the guy that received the uh, or picked up the ball there. Yep. He's pretty high up in the line, so he's not used to carrying the ball. Rabiro and Matrangelo helping him off. He's lifted as a receiver, but I haven't seen him play receiver yet. More likely to be on defense. Had a Woosie back now. Cardona no. split left. They, they don't have a good secondary you can see. So one man goes deep. Another man is not. Quick screen again. He got hit. He got hit in the backfield and that allowed for the uh, pursuit to catch up. That was another quick screen. Well clock's running. We got to get that ball downfield. None of these little Screen passes. Four, no, four Second Switch. down to nine Jam. from the four, 37. Carol Napoleon out here deep. Double slot formation. Quick pass. Forward motion is not going to get him there. It's a nice pickup, but we need more. Keeps him inside. We're under a Who minute now that? and That's a half. Two. Cardona. Oh, 22 caught that. Okay. Pickup of eight. Timeout. Timeout, Colony. Time Time this is four down territory, don't you think, Luke? Yeah, it's got to. We got to. Timeout. Colony. So you're a baseball player. What do you think about adding middle school sports to the uh, agenda with Woodbridge? Uh, um, personally, I don't like it. Why? I don't know. Like, it wasn't that good of an experience because you have a lot of homework to do. You just don't have time. Ah, that's an interesting perspective. Wow, that's not one. That's pretty. I didn't think he would come up with that. Like, <laughs> well, that, I had baseball and then I had football practice after. And I, I had to do my homework at 9 o'clock at night, which it wasn't. Oh, I get you. you know, that's, the, that's the problems of being a multi-talented athlete. Yeah. Though, man. I never had that problem. <laughs> like if, if we had to go back, I, would, I wouldn't have played baseball. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't. I always did my homework because I never had anything else to distract me except the paper route. We got a double slot, one back offense. I'd say they're going to pass the ball here, Luke. Wide open field. Look at that. Yeah, almost. Yeah, they got two deep just safeties. Run a, run a quick pass to Bryce or Farrell, number four or number ten, on the left side of the field. We're fine. And a wussy oh, he fell up. down. His knee touched. He, didn't even get, yeah, he did no, not even knee. get the uh, first down. His knee touched back there. Boy, when it rains, it pours. Now you kind of want the clock to wind down. Luke, when they go up to the line of scrimmage, and they 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 don't get down in their stance, but then they all stand up again yeah. and look over. Is that predetermined or doing mm -hmm. that on purpose? They, Is that um, to draw? what they do. They, they call a number on the sideline. If it ends in a zero, right. Oh. I mean, never mind. Yeah, they, yeah no, they're, no, they're not going to hear it. They'll hear it after the game. But if it ends in a zero, that means they're going to change the play. Yeah, that means they have to look up. and. It almost looks like they're intentionally trying to draw people off. Wow, he came through there nicely. All right, all right. Piro with a big gainer. You know, there's a lot of plays they have, so yeah. they could 
come up with something that. And every week there's new plays, so. They just add a couple, huh? 14 seconds to go, maybe two passes. Got to go for the end zone. Colonia called the timeout. Well, this is a first for me. This is the first time I've ever heard a kid say he didn't like sports because it took away time from out. homework time. Yeah, you're bothered Colonia. by that, huh, John? Huh? <laughs> He's bothered by that. No, I, that's pretty admirable. Yeah, definitely. I'm not, it's unusual. It, it's, that's all. See, look, the mayor was looking for a thank you for starting that whole thing and suggesting. I mean, it, it was fun. No, I no, just, no, 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 no. I didn't have didn't anything have to do with it. Nope. The school board did this. Dr. Zega did this. Yeah. All we did is prepare some fields. This is nothing we can take credit for. It was a great. I just think it's great. Yeah. It was It was fun and all. I just didn't have time. Yeah. Right. Well, you're I, in a unique situation because you play both football and baseball. Yeah. So, you know. Other kids who just play baseball. Right. They, they liked it. But, you know, Luke, part of growing up sometimes is making decisions. So there's, you know, there's a lot of good to it on both ends. You know, sometimes you got to make tough decisions. Yeah, I'm actually golfing next year. So nice. I'm stopping baseball. A little flare pass. One, Get out of bounds. Seven he seconds, did. about four, 34 yards to go. Velcro tear sign. If they, they can get uh, Napoleon open, he's fast enough to. Good, they got. He's got to throw the end zone here. Yeah, they got Barney's. Bryce Barney's right. Barney's Cardona, Elijah the right, Piero and Napoleon to the left. He Trips. looks. He's what the heck was tipped. that? I think the ball was. Why is he throwing a short pass? Seven seconds, that's the question. That ball was tipped by number 87, Michael Frigo. Big defensive end for Mendham. And four the seconds. The defenders are probably keying on Napoleon, so if they get. Right, they're back pretty deep, too. They can give up something good underneath. Good protection. He takes. Who's that ball to? He caught it. Touch no way. What? That's out. Time's out. Oh! Did he catch it? Wow. Oh, that's a tough way to go. Good go at it, though. Wow. A gain of 30 yards, but not enough. He needed 31. So that'll do it for the half. Mendham takes a 28-14 lead into the locker room. Luke, thanks very much for joining us. You did a really nice job. Thank you. And uh, Greg, we'll, we'll be back after the half's over. Yep, good luck, Luke. Right, good you. luck with everything. It was fun. Thank you. And we're back at Colonia High School, 28-14, mend them up at the half. John McCormick, Greg Ficarra. Colony kicking team, number five, Elijah Williams, number 27 is Matt DePola. Number 18 is Robert Malaga, 31, Brian Pedrosa, 14, Joshua Joseph, 23, John Sanchez, 25, Bashir Lauderdale. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure that's something, too. Can't get that number for you. And here comes the second half kickoff. Greg, that last play, that pass, he was within a yard of scoring and making it 28-21. Yep, yep, was reception right on that one-yard line. That's why I think Colonia still has a lot of life in them. They got a, got a nice stop here. All right. Number five for Spencer, Spencer Klaus. Klaus yep. Slips up and... Mendham begins first and 10 from their own 28. From an emotional perspective, John, this is a, a, a big series for the Patriot defense right here. If they can stop them and get a little offense together, that can change the game and get it back. Well, they give up a touchdown. Now they're down three scores. Right. It could go the other way. So that's this is a big series, big series for the Patriots. That pass by uh, Adewusi, that was floater. He didn't get a lot on that. I forget if he was... I'm not sure if he was hit or just didn't get a great pass off, but it still got to the end zone and had a chance of being a touchdown. What a play that would have been. <clears throat> See if we did a nice job of coming back on the ball. Big hit there by the Patriots. 
Brother trying to tackle. Jones on the carry, gain of one. Carruthers on the tackle. Yep, Chris Carruthers was, came in real big on that one. So we have second and nine. We have uh, Farrah Napoleon, Becker, Elijah Williams, Bryce Barneys, <coughs> Raul Cardona, trips right now. Going deep for number two, got him. David Burkinski for the Minutemen with that reception. But, John, that pass was on the money. Oh, that was right a, on. Hit him in stride. Goodness, goodness gracious. That was just a beautiful play. Well, Jack. it's not what we needed coming in, and we just talked about the momentum. Yeah. Yep. Darn. That uh, quarterback for uh, Mendham, Jack Coran, throws the ball so well on those rollouts, John. He just gets around the edge and lets it go. I was watching him practice, and he he was real, looking really good. Here comes Benaducci. Inside counter. Look like a gain of a few. Benaducci on the carry. Offensive line for Mendham doing a nice job up there. It looks like they're outsized, but they just keep their feet moving. Good. That quarterback Haran for for the Minutemen, number seven, six foot three, 180 pounds. He's a yeah, he's he looks good. Solid looks player, very athletic. Rolling left. Take it himself. Keeping the ball. Oh, man, it's a good run. It's, is it a touchdown? Yep, just put the sign up. Wow. He rolled out to the left, John. I think he was thinking keep it all the way along. It's hard for a quarterback to roll left, a righty quarterback to roll left and throw right. Zero, one, five, one, eight, one. Three plays, touchdown. We 72 talked. yards. Talked about momentum. And here comes the extra point to make it 35 14 if they make it, and it looks good. He's five for five. Boy, that's not what we needed. No. Nope. You know, we talked, it was 14 14. We said Colonia needs to, uh, we mentioned the fact that, that uh, Mendham would be getting the ball. In fact, Luke mentioned it. Right. And then it fell apart. Two touchdowns at the end of the first half, and then quick one third coming one back. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not looking good for Colonia. It's gonna it's gonna put a lot of pressure on Colonia to air the ball out a little bit, try to get some quick points. But they are an explosive team, John. So we have gotta keep the faith here. You heard Luke say they were down to Carteret and came back. Yep. Receiving team now: T.J. Matty, Randy Acosta. Matt DePola, Matt Mizak, Zach Menenti. That's the front. I can't see the rest of them. They're all turned away from me. Here's the kick, and it's a line drive. Eliza Williams brings it back to about the 29. Good run. The 30, first and 10 from the 30. Now, no more uh, little dinks. It's got to be downfield. Well, they don't want to panic yet. They want to they want to try to get a little rhythm going here. Well, they might have four possessions, five possessions in the second half. They got to score on three of them, yep. tie and hold them. Yep. Motion inside. Uh -oh. oh, Hero missed the handoff, and Adewusi picks up his fumble, and he's swarmed by Mendham. He won't even. Won't wind up with any gain. There we go. And the carry. Missed the handoff. Yeah, there was a little miscommunication on that on the inside. So we'll give out a Wussy a negative two, second and twelve. And they're moving in the wrong direction.
Quick screen. Farrah Napoli with a nice carry, a nice uh, pass reception, I should say. Probably picked up about 10. Yep, that was a very nice developed play. Look to the right real quick and then yep. a quick screen to the left, and it, it turned out well. Picked up 10. Third and two from the 38. Trips left, inside handoff. Cut left. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, good tackle there by number 70. He's got a first down. Sam Piro picked up 16 yards for a first down for Colonia. They are now on the 44. Great play going north and south there. Piro again. No, no, I'm sorry, Adewusi kept it himself. Good fake. Goes around the end, doesn't pick up a lot, but at least it's positive yards. That was a pretty big hit by number nine, Ross Copeman on Adewusi. Oh. Gain of four, second and six from the 42. 40, I mean, 40. The makings of a nice drive for Colonia. Slot in going motion. into motion. Bryce Barney's hand off Piero up the middle. He might have the first. It is a first down Patriots. No, is it? He looked like he was pointing. No signal yet. They have to get that a first down. I think the they're going to do a measurement maybe. Yeah, not even, even, don't even need a measurement for the ball is. That's a first down. Yeah, they're moving it. Yep, they're calling in the first down. First down, Patriots. First and 10 from the 35 now. Clock moving. That's a concern. Mendham with a blitz. Here comes Piro. Piro up the middle. He's possessed. He's he wants to take the game on his own yeah, shoulders. Yeah, I'm sure he's not happy with that first half. Not his own. He had a decent first half, but the team didn't do all that good. So he looks he looks determined. Second and two from the 26. Colonia picking up the pace a little bit now. Pass. He's got 22. Take he's back. got 22. Touchdown. Yep, he had him. All right. Raul Cardona. Beautiful nice pass. job. Right on the money. 22 picked up 26 and a TD to make it 35-20. That was a jump ball, and Colonia came out on top on that one. I think that was just a height situation. And now this is a big extra point because you don't want to force yourself into going for two later. That's good. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Kick, kick us off. So, 35-20 now for Mendham in the lead. But Kennedy, uh, Kennedy, Colony showing some life. That was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plays and 70 yards. 34 yards on the ground and 36 yards in the air. Piero was the star of that one, that's Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. He He's took it all to his own hands. And a very, very nice pass at the end. Kicking team now, Luis Martinez out. John Sanchez, Bashir Lauderdale, good, Kadimi Duryland. I don't think I got a chance of saying that one name right. Nick Matrangelo, number 14. Joshua Joseph, 31, is Brian Pedrosa. Number, I said number nine is Luis Martinez. Luis Elijah Williams. Matt Dapola. And there's one guy I can't see. Matt Ribeiro, the kicker. This is an interesting formation, return formation that Mendham is in. Oh, they just split Popped up. the ball right in the middle there and recover it. Good kick, Good kick. kick. Nice, nice and deep. deep. Fielded clean. Guy's got a head of steam, but oh, oh he's smacked. Big hit. Number 22 with the big hit, Raul Cardona. He just scored the touchdown. He's fired up. No, it wasn't Cardona. Cardona's coming off the field now. He turns it up to the 32-yard line with a 
Lindman will take over first and ten. Now that's a that's a good momentum shifter. They can capitalize on that big hit. First and ten, Mendham from the 32. That was a collision. Slot left. They ran an uh, unbalanced line to the left there, John. They Sorry, had, a, I had a sneeze. Yep, God bless you. They had a slot left and a tight end on that side. The uh, Colonial coaches up here were yelling uh, tight end ineligible. So that put the strength of the formation to the left, and that's where they ran. It looks like a gain of three or four. Ball on the 36 yard line. Second down and seven from about the 36. Dolly, Dolly. Benaducci. There he goes, inside counter. He's tough. He's got a low center of gravity and he runs hard. That's an inside counter, John. The quarterback opens the opposite way and hands the ball off on the inside, and there's a pulling guard on there, and it just it's just a quick hitting play, and they run it to precision. Pick up of eight, first and ten for the 44 now. Colonia needs to stop halfway through the third quarter. I figure they'll get three more possessions. Tight offense. Oh, Inside. no. Wow. 34, Robert Worthington for the Minutemen. With a burst of speed. That was a simple dive on the inside. Just like the touchdown run before, yep. same kind of play. That's a pickup of 27 yards. Can't be doing that and get back in this game. Got to stop him. 5.35 and a half. Clock becoming in, in the third very quarter. important. Yep, clock's very important. Motion, there he goes. And Anucci again, chopping his way up the middle. John, he's just a workhorse. Look at him. He's covered in dirt, head to toe, high-fiving everybody on the way back to the huddle. It's a John Madden kind of player. Yeah. Second and three from about the 22 and a half. Here's good news for Colonia. Benaducci's going out. Yeah, they take him out every couple of plays. Whatever they're doing, it's working. Wide split to the left. He's rolling left. He's going to keep it. Every time he rolls to the left, he keeps the ball. Nice game. First down again for the Minutemen. First down. Colonia's got to come up with a big play. They need to turn over something here to change a That's little a of that momentum. Yeah, it's a pickup of 11. You got to think of Menham scores here. Colonia might only have three possessions and have to score on all three and hold them again. And they haven't held them lately at all. They're in a power offense, 33, going in motion. Straight handoff right up the middle. Adenucci was in uh, motion on that one, John, so they're using him as a decoy. Adenucci. Lord I in. Had a foul out now for Colonia. Colonia coaches in the box calling for somebody to make a play. That's what Colonia needs. The turnover. Need a, little... need a turnover here. Adenucci. Stays on the He's in, he's in. Yep. Touchdown. 
Touchdown, Mendo Jones. Don, I hate to sound like a cheerleader for that Beneducci, but he had a spectacular play. The kid does everything. Yeah. He tackles, he runs. He he made the key block to open that, that running play up. 41-20 now. Kicker's been perfect on five extra points. They did not make it six. No, nope, looks like it went off to the side on that one. So Colony has to score every time they get the ball now. 3.17 to go in the third quarter, 41 to 20. All right, folks, we'll be back. Stay with us. Okay, we're back. John McCormick, Craig Ficarra, 41-20. Mend them over Colony with 3.17 to go in the third quarter. Colonia needs to get this ball, get a good return, get a score, hold Mendham. Simple as that. Booming kick, really good one. Is that Williams? Still up, trying to reverse and go backwards. Nick Matrangelo coming off now, TJ Matty. Randy Acosta, Farrell Napoleon, Elijah Williams, Matt Ribeiro, the kicker. Line now, Jimmy Becker, 51, Nick Hatterthauer, 54, J.J. Figaro, 61. Raul Cardona on the left. <clears throat> Matt DePaul in the backfield with Teddy Arousi and Sam Perro. Two back offense now. Quick pass. Complete to Farrow Napoleon. Pickup of about eight. Out of bounds. Stops the clock. Quick hitting play. I think what they're trying to do, John, is just get the ball into their playmakers' hands and see if they can make something happen. We have an official's timeout. Official's timeout for some reason. And we'll take a timeout. We'll be back, folks. Yeah. We're back, second and eight from about the 33. Adawusi takes the snap, hands to Piro up the middle. Nice gain by Piro. He's on fire. Good run. That play before for Colonia, number 10, Faro Napoleon came out. I think he had a cramp. He's being tended to by the trainer now. First and 10 from that 40. Trips left. Colonia on the move. Pass formation. Hand off to Piro. Side handoff. Not much going on there. No, John, I think they, they were in that passing formation. The trips left. They spread everything out and gives a little bit of room for Piro to do his work in there. Like I said, I think they're just trying to get the ball into the playmakers and make something happen. Clock's working against them, though, down to 220. Patriots waiting for the play coming in from the sideline. Trips left again. They Slot have to score right. on this drive without a doubt. Quick look, short screen. Oh, off the hands of number 27, Matt DePaulo. That was set up nicely. There was a good block there. That wasn't too far away from being picked. The, the Mendham guy was closing in on that. Yep, yep. Third down and nine, so. Our man Beneducci in the middle of that squeamish there. Same formation, trips left, slot right. Empty backfield, shotgun start. Yeah, I was just about the same motion. That didn't look good at all. No, no. Be third and 14 now. Dead ball, false start on the offense. Five yard penalty, repeat third down. You can't be doing that if you want to close this gap. It'll be third down and 14 to go for the Patriots. Chase Barney out of the game now. Third and 14 from the 36-yard line. 
Trips left again. Perro is the only running back. Quick screen to Perro. That he fooled went all the way. nobody. Fooled absolutely nobody. Well, at least not number that. 87. Nope. Number 87 for Mendham is Michael Frigo, who sniffed that one right out. Boy, that's fourth now and 22. You can't even think about going for it in that spot in the field. Even though they... Let's see if uh, Mendham's going to go for the block or set up a return. Looks like they got a lot of people up front there. All but one. Oh, oh high snap, good field. Just missed being blocked, but short real high kick. and short. Oh, good Picks colonial, colonial bounce. bounce. Good, good, good. And with 117 to go in the third quarter, Colony down 41-20. The Mendham will be right back, folks. Conversion of water into food. You may not be able to make food fall out of the sky. It really works! But you can fight hunger in your community. Just visit feedingamerica.org and become a hunger helper. Tight formation with Beneducci in that inverted position right up the middle. First and 10 from the 43, pickup of probably four. Mindham trying to take advantage of that clock. They probably will run one more play. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. I don't see him passing the rest of the way. All they do is just keep running the ball with Beneducci and, and number 29. Yep. Christopher Jones, 5'11 junior running back, also having a very good game. They'll take the clock down as much as they can in every play. Look, you're right, they get one more play and a half. Carteret final, 12 to 3, just heard from the press box. Wow. Yeah, Another die right up the middle. That's going to move the clock. Good quarter right play. Over who? Quarter right beat Long Branch 12 to 3. They're not in our division, right? Our, our section? I think they're central. Central 3. Mendham with a fine tradition in athletics up there in the northwest corner. Uh, they have grown from a group one school to a group three school since 1982. Uh, kids from Mendham come from the Mendham area and also Chester. They've had two players from Mendham play in the NFL. Both of them are linebackers. Jim Collins played for the Rams in the early 80s and Carl Zanda played for the Bengals. Uh, so a lot of tradition up there and they were real excited to come down here and play Colonia, and it looks like right now they got a little momentum going. Now, they're a, a sister school to who, West Morris? Yeah, they have. A, it's the uh, West Morris School District, so you have Mendham and you have West Morris Central. West Morris Central is playing Marstown right now, and the winners of those two of our game and their game play each other. So it would be interesting, I guess, from Mendham's perspective and West Morris' perspective if they played each other. That would be a heck of a game within the town. We have two, two teams in this section, Kennedy and Colonia. Last we heard, Kennedy was up 14 to 12 at the half. Let me check the old text here. And JFK was still up 14 12, fourth quarter, but Irvington about to score. Andrew Roberts, the quarterback, out with a torn thumb ligaments. Oh, no. That's a big setback. Irvington coming in that game with three straight losses. Uh, so, For a while there, it looked like Colonia would be three and Kennedy would be six, and they'd be playing each other, which would be a lot of fun to have called that game. Yeah. Watch that game happen. Junior. A little counter on the outside. Christopher Jones. The defense failing Colonia right now. They need to force a three and out. They haven't done that in a long while. Clock ticking down now. you got to look at it. Yeah, a matter of time at some point. Three touchdowns. This could be, you know, nine minutes by the time they get the ball back. 
Of course, if Mendham scores, I don't think he, he can probably call it over. Deep split left. Beneducci coming around. There it goes. the ball on the inside. Boom. Stood straight up, though. Still fighting. Right in the middle of the dust bowl out there. We won't be seeing that too much in the future. No, no. We'll have some good field here soon. We're coming up with those little uh, rubber pellets instead of the dust. Talk to AD Ben LaSalle before the game. He's thrilled. Yeah, he's excited. He's a great guy, Benny LaSalle. You know, he's a yeah. rough and tough guy, but he's got a heart of gold, and he loves the kids at Colonia. You couldn't get a better better guy to be in charge of this athletic program. We're all very his, proud of him. His son Joe, a good, gritty basketball player, he he saved the game. I forget who they played Colonia, but it was an upset of college, yeah. I think, or somewhere up there. He hit the ground and t dug for a loose ball and called timeout, and then with a second or two left, got a, I so forget who it was, maybe Brandon Hall scored. We got some visitors up here. Mr. Dan Harris from the Board of Education visiting us. Dan, how are you? Good, good. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for having me. Uh, joined here by uh, Council President uh, Ezio, excuse me, Board President Ezio Tamborella. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> no problem, man. I'll remember that. I'm giving him a promotion. <laughs> All right, Colony got their work cut out for them, Dan. Yeah, they sure did. The cheerleaders have not given up. They're doing their most fast-paced cheer of the night right now. Chris Jones. <laughs> Trying to stay warm out there. This guy, Beneducci, is just a workhorse. Yeah. He, he can, he can yeah. play on anybody's team. He's yeah. tremendous. Yeah, the, the quarterback's very skillful at uh, hiding the ball as oh, well. Oh, yeah, he's really he's yes. that before. He's good. Yep, yeah, John yeah, mentioned yeah. that. He doesn't just fake the handoff. Or give the handoff and fake that he goes back and the whole motion really goes through the right. like he's throwing. Yeah. Interesting to say this number 33, John Beneducci, uh, wants to go to Georgetown and wants to play baseball. Really? Yeah. So it'd be nice to see him play some baseball. Holy right. mackerel. Well, he's too small for college football. Yeah. Yeah. There he goes in motion. They're just pounding. Yeah. Pounding and running time off the yep, clock. Yep. Right. Grinding and pounding. It's starting to get pretty cold here now. <laughs> the game delayed by half an hour because the Mendham buses were stuck on the parkway. And we were talking about this will be the last game. We'll see with all of that dust. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But hopefully next year we'll have a nice, beautiful green turf fields. Oh, yep. <laughs> Although they do make them in different colors, we can have a blue and gold turf field. Yeah, I don't think the state, no, somebody told me the NJSIA won't allow that. Okay. Because I was joking, they said maybe we'll have Colonial Blue like Boise State. Right. And they said, no, that'll never be allowed. Okay, we could have a big C in the middle for Colonia. Yep. Yeah. Okay, they are going to pass. Boot they leg. don't have it. Wow. Boot Look at this oh, for crying out loud. I'm not exactly sure if that play was designed that way. Know, you know, it seemed like he was running the whole time. Right. Yeah. But he had the receiver. He could see him as he was running and he was covered. That's a risky play for your starting quarterback if you're thinking about continuing on in the playoffs. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. You know, eight, eight, uh, under 830. Yeah. If you're a minute, you got to start thinking about that. Yeah, I think at a certain point uh, the Colonia coach is going to throw in his seniors and uh, the other coach is going to get the hint, right? Well, you would, you would think that. A lot of similarities there. It's a it's a, a two high school district, uh, West Morris. Oh yeah. And their sister school is playing against Morristown tonight too. Okay. And that's where the next the winner of those games will play. Oh man. Benaducci untouched into the end zone to make it 47 to 20. That's just the uh, putting it right on top now. What's the field goal kicker? Five for six. Five for six, yeah. Extra point kicker, five for six. He missed yeah. one. Well, you said there was a flash that went yeah, off that there, we saw right in our eyes. Looks like he's back there again. See him? Just oh. went off now. There it goes again. Oh. Block kick there. Yeah. Kick is no good. Score is 47. Kick is no good. So at the end of, well, almost halfway through the fourth quarter, Mendham 47, Colonia 20. We'll be back, folks. Hi, I'm Graham Parker. You're watching the Woodbridge Channels. Bring your community home. Okay, we're back now with Board of Education President 
and Colonial resident Ezio Tamburello. Welcome, Ets. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for having me. Great night for football. Great night for football, but not a great night for Colonial football. That's a tough way to end the season. That's what it looks like right now. But uh, they'll leave it out there. Eight minutes left. Mm -hmm. Boys will play hard. We were saying to uh, Dan Harris, Ets, this will be the last time we'll see all this dust on the field. Yeah, it's uh, looking like an old dust bowl right now, and uh, yeah. that's uh, a little bit of exciting news going forward. There is a buzz about that. We want to thank the mayor and the council, certainly. Well, it's the right thing to do. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from people who have heard about the plans and, you know, watch TV. Yeah, I mean, uh, we hear it in the street already. I mean, uh, overwhelming support for these improvements we have planned, and we're all looking forward to it. It's going to look a lot different next year at this time. Absolutely. There are those who will find the black cloud in every silver lining, like I said the other night in the council meeting. That it'll be against anything we do. Whatever we do, they're against uh -huh. it. But, it's, but once you get past those two or three people, everybody else is supportive. Overwhelming. And uh, Perro he, going long here. I think he was looking. Out of, whoa, oh, he's yeah. smacked from behind. So I go back after the meeting we had in the Board of Ed, and I'm back, you know, talking to the father and mother, and they have three boys. I said, what do, you, what do you think? And the guy said a good thing. He says, you know, there's 100,000 people in town. Don't be disappointed. Or don't be upset because four or five come out every meeting and, and beat you up. 100,000 people yep. and four or five people question things we do. That's it. Yep. And uh, like I said before, overwhelming support and uh, – it's going to benefit our families for probably decades to come, all these improvements. Right, right. There is a, a, a long lifespan on the improvements we got planned, and it's going to be a huge, huge positive for the schools. I mean, all people get the, the property value aspect, that when you, when you're, somebody's driving their kids around looking at a neighborhood, and they go through here and see this field, and they go through next year and see a brand-new turf field. Yep. That matters. If, you, if we build it, they will come, and this will get people to Woodbridge. That will see. Quick screen pass. Stays in bounds. That was to Elijah Williams. Clock. Yep, clock moving on that. You know, there, Ezio, there's a lot of factors to that. The safety factor, I know you're a big proponent yep. of safety, and uh, you guys did a great great job of bringing that impact testing, and special thanks to Raritan Bay Medical Center for providing that yep. grant for us. I'm personally going through it right now. So I'm with the concussion. He's been out the most of the season. Yeah. And yeah. he's waiting to pass that impact test, and it was a good thing we had it. Yeah. I you remember. Know. You talked about that three, four years ago, yep. and now now it's all over. So it's and great. Offer it to every student, not just a student athlete, every student that's available. Yep. Just got word that Kennedy won 14 12 in Irvington. All, all right. Big Middle win screen. For that program. Pero on the move. Go. He's got that never give up attitude. Yep, that kid's got heart. Two, uh, two brand new rookie coaches, both with the team for the playoffs, Colony and Kennedy, and Kennedy are moving in the next round. That's a great win for That's that Andrew, Kennedy program. Andrew Marizio, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. His first year, and he's in the next uh, final four of the section. Once you get there, anything can happen. Who else is in that section? Oh, I'd, we'll be at Phillipsburg next week, I guess, or when the game is. They'll probably play Phillipsburg. Yeah. Uh, is that what it is, Phillipsburg? Yeah, Phillipsburg, yeah, right. And then you got a couple of Morris County teams in this bracket. Right. right. West Morris and, and uh, Morris Town. Yep. West Morris is the sister school to Mendham. To Mendham, yep. Morris Town, my cousin Tommy is the superintendent there. Second and eight now from the 45. And splitting out. Elijah Williams splitting right in motion. Shotgun snap. Perro going to get this one too low. Oh, just a little low. 59 and 33 out of Nunchi. We were saying this 33 from Mendham. That's his everywhere. Offense, defense. Look at him. He looks like Mr. Dirt out there. The guy's a warrior. You know, if he's a senior, is he coming back? He's a senior. Right. We were saying he's a senior. He's hoping to get into Georgetown, and he uh -huh. wants to play baseball. Big East school for baseball. Yeah. I think if, you know, they're breaking up that league, but I think they're still in the baseball. Third and three, Adarusi over the middle. There you go. He has Cardona. That was a nice catch by Cardona. Anytime you run that inside like that, you got to prepare yourself oh, yeah, to get a big hit. Yep. He's hung on to that ball nicely. Under five minutes to go. Yep. 
We got trips right, slot left, empty backfield. Good pass time. Yeah, he's he's got him. He's got him. He's wide open. Yep. Oh, he dropped oh. it. That was a tough one. That was a touchdown. On a play like that, back in the day with Coach Osborne from Kennedy, he would say 50,000 people watched you drop that ball. <laughs> That was before TV 35. Who even watched that game? Yeah. It was back when men were men. You have to put that on the 8 millimeter back then. <laughs> I think we had 16, actually. Oh, yeah. big hit. And look who it is, John, number 33. 33. I can't see it. No, I don't think he should be in the game. We heard. Especially on defense. I yeah. do not think he should be in the game. Five on the play. It'll be second down five. Kind of empty your bench at this point. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of clean shirts on the other side. There's a lot of clean shirts on both sides, actually. It's just harder to see on the Colonial side. Third and five. And the Wussy takes a shotgun. Has the Piro. He's got the first down. And more. Keep going. And then some. You got to admire him. He just doesn't give up, Piro. He's great. We had his younger Let, brother up here. His Let, younger brother was with us uh, doing a little play by play before. Yeah, Luke. They're, they're waiting for him to come up, too. But yeah. The, the, the yep. kids' legs are always moving. Piro's had a much better second half than the first half. Probably over 100. I stopped keeping track, really, but he. At 12.94 coming in. And Lucy, oh, he's going to go down. Cheerleaders are still at it. Yep. Yep. I keep telling my daughter to put her jacket on. Which uh, brings me to a point. I'll leave you guys, but uh, I want to definitely congratulate all the seniors. This may be the last game for our cheerleaders, football players, the band folks, you know, this uh, could be their last football game, Colonia High School. Want to honor them tonight for sure. Absolutely. That was a, a good quarter. program. It, it coach LaSalle and now yeah. Coach Rorty, really, really Coach A.D. LaSalle really built a nice program yep. here. And most of the staff is still intact and they are all getting along. They, are. they promoted from within TR yeah. to uh, Tom Rorty became the head coach yep. from uh, an assistant coach. I think uh, NCO is someone from out of a district. I think you guys do it right. You really look you look internally and you give people a shot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pride in our district. And there's a lot of talent in our district. Here comes the pole for go. the touchdown. That's six. Hey. And as a true homer, I'll leave you guys on a, on a score then. There you go. I want to, again, congratulate all of these seniors. And uh, thank you guys for having me. And we really look forward to these improvements. Everybody should be well aware of uh, all the fields, the air conditioners, the uh, playgrounds. There'll be a lot of ribbon cuttings. Yep. Yeah. We have uh, four, School 14 this week, and the kids have done something, you know, get ready for a major celebration. They've mm -hmm. got posters and banners and all kinds of things. These little things like a playground yep. goes so far for the community oh, spirit no, and school right, spirit. Yep. Hey, it's like our middle school sports program. Bigger than we thought, oh, better than we thought, yep. Oh, much better than I thought. Yeah. I'll tell you, there's almost enough, it seems like, when I talk to some of the coaches. Uh, I forget who I was talking this week. Uh, boys basketball. 30 kids trying out. 30 kids trying out for the yeah. boys basketball team. You can almost have an A to B team in all the middle schools. That, that was good. We are thinking about expanding all of these sports because the, the, the turnout is 30 or 40, baseball and softball. That's great. That's great. Well, you know, you got you, you do have the county middle school league out there, so mm -hmm. somewhere off in the future you have a nice opportunity yeah. to transition into that. It's and a lot of kids picked up the sport for the first time. There were travel teams. You know, Avenel had a bunch of kids from Woodbridge Little League that went to the so, two games from Williamsport. They had a lot of really seasoned players, yep. and they, they won in terms of middle schools. But other kids in other schools had never played, came out, and had an opportunity. Now they're best friends with the kids yep. on the team, and they're wearing their uniforms on game day to That's school. And the games we covered, you see 
all the kids from the school that aren't even playing out mm -hmm. rooting for their, their teammates, their classmates. Yeah. It does you, a lot for school spirit. You had me watching for sure. It definitely uh, it, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. It, uh, it wasn't about wins and losses. It was about competing and school pride and school spirit. Especially the girls. We're talking to girls 10 seconds after the game. Anybody upset by the loss? No, we're good, yep. you know. Gonna kick, the kick. Yeah, he's going to kick a short oh, one. A line. Oh, nice right at him. That's right. a good cover. That's a very good cover. Number 34 for uh, Robert Weatherington. Right at him. Right in his gut, and he held on to it. 2.41 to go. 47-26 now. Men them definitely had their hands team in there. He had all receivers and running backs. Gentlemen, I'll leave you to your work. All right. All right, pal. Good to see you, brother. Take Thanks care. For Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. buddy. Danny, thank Danny, you. Danny, take care. All right. Bend the ball first and 10 at their own 48. Yeah. 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 Mend them in that inverted slot with Benaducci. Straight handoff up the middle. Looks like it could be a gain of three or four, but more importantly, it's taking time off the clock. Somebody must have called the timeout. Why? We have a timeout on the field. Colonia. It's Colonia timeout. Geez, what an outstanding victory there for JFK up at Irvington, huh? Going away in a... Well, they were the, the yeah the away team. They were the lower seeded team nationally to be the away team, and they pulled off a 14-12 upset. And when Kyle texted me, he said 14-12, but uh, Irvington's on the way to score, and they didn't. Well, nice win for that program. Absolutely, that's. And cool. the quarterback was out with torn thumb ligaments, so I don't know who else was in the game quarterbacking, but to hang on like that with a backup quarterback on the road. Pretty impressive. Yep, absolutely. Hopefully that injury will be uh, recovered by I next know, week. Torn ligaments. With that. I mean, I'm not sure if I diagnosed that that quick. Yeah. I, I, at the field. I, right, but. right. I think that's a little. Unless they have some MRI equipment there. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> 33 still in the game. This makes no sense to me. So is the quarterback. So it's probably most of the offense. 29 still in the game. Straight handoff, nothing fancy. Yep, looks like some new shirts there for Colonia. Yeah, though, Ryan huh? Petty, number 16. Timeout on the field. Is Nick Colonia calls their second timeout. Everybody else looks the same. Nick Petrangelo is 12. 24 is Tim Pangborn. Mendham head football coach is Bill Karpluk. Bill took off a year. He's back. This is the first time he's back. He took off a year to see his son play college football, and he also finished his doctorate. He's a uh, assistant principal up there at Mendham. And um, athletic director Jim Baglin has nothing but great things to say about him, that he's a builder of men, not just a builder of winning, winning football teams, as is our coach at Colonia. Colonia beat Kennedy earlier in the season in the first, actually first game of the season, 35-7. But now, based on the matchups, Kennedy will be moving on. That will probably bring us under two minutes. Mendham not uh, really rushing to get up to the line of scrimmage, drawing down every second that they can. I'll say it again now. What is 30? What is 33 doing in the game? Up 21 with two minutes to go. What the heck is he doing in the game? Yeah, they, well, they have quite a few, quite a few of their players that are still in the game. Now here comes a, a batch of guys in. I didn't see who went out. Uh, I think that's pretty much. One fifty to go. Penalty. Too much time. Second half has been surprisingly void of penalties. Dead ball. Delay a game. And never. The Actually, the game really, for the, the most part, hasn't had all that many penalties. We had a couple early. Oh, yeah, John, four remember? early, two on yeah. each team, big yeah. ones. But yeah. then 
Then it lightened up the rest of the way. It settled in, yep. Well, you know, you had mentioned it earlier, and we talked a little bit about the uh, the strength of that conference up there in the Northwest. Right. And I know that that's, that's what they felt coming in. It's not like the GMC uh, White Division is uh, a pushover with St. Joe's in there, but there he goes again, the workhorse. 29, that's 29. Oh, 29, Chris Jones. But the same thing happened with Colony against Raritan. They played a 1-5 in five team. And lost 38-18 because, you know, you just don't know. You're not playing the same opponents. They're playing Ocean and Wall and Neptune and right. all these big shore schools. And they come in 1-5. and five. You look at the record, but the record's not indicative because you just don't know the opponents. Kennedy played Ocean. Ocean rolled all over them. Uh, they were 3-0 coming in. For all we know, they finished 3-6, and six, but I think they won the next several games. But you just don't know when you're playing teams from these other conferences. Yeah. Mendham's got some new slot players out here, five and two. Spencer Klaus, no, he's not new. What am I saying? It's neither one of them are. Clock's going down. Going on a long count, straight handoff. Jones out of town. Well, maybe one more play. Got my vote. Well, got to be one more play. Joe Beneducci is my player of the game. For I think everybody's player of the game. Goodness gracious. He but is. congratulate the Patriots. They scored four touchdowns in the state playoff game. Just gave up more. Ran into a good team at the wrong time. Yep. Nothing to be, uh, nothing to have your they head take down. take a knee. In the victory formation, and that's it. 18 seconds to go. They don't have to run another play. They'll, they'll finish six and four. So that'll do it for Woodbridge Channel's coverage of high school sports. John McCormick, Greg Ficaro. We enjoyed doing the game with you. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I wish the outcome was a little different. Certainly good luck to the Mustangs as they continue their play. Maybe we'll... Go on the road, John. See where they're playing. Phillipsburg? I don't know, man. It's yeah. going to get colder, and that's farther. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. p -berg. So thanks for watching, folks. We'll be with you soon for hockey and basketball.